E10, solve a system of equations using any method. So in E6, we learned how to solve a system of equations using substitution. In E9, we used um, elimination. So on E10, you have to decide which way you want to go. So on this, they already tell you that x equals 3. If x equals 3, then we're going to put a 3 right there and we're halfway finished. <coughs> so we're going to put 3 in for x, negative 3, times 3, plus 7y, equals negative 16, negative 9, plus 7y, equals negative 16, add the 9, 7y equals negative 7, divide by positive 7, and you get negative 1. Y is negative 1. We already know Y equals negative 3. So we're going to put negative 3 in for that Y. So negative 7 times... Or negative 7 X minus 9. We know Y is negative 3 equals negative 15. Negative 7x plus 27 equals negative 15. Subtract the 27. Negative 7x equals negative 42. Divide by negative 7. So our x is a positive 6 because the negative divided by negative is a positive. On this one, I am going to use elimination. Basically, the reason I'm using elimination is because the x's and the y's are stacked on top of each other on one side of the equal sign. And to do that, we would either choose equation 1 or equation 2 and be able to make that a negative 5 one way or the other. I'm going to put a negative... No, eh, it doesn't really matter. I'll put a negative 1 through this one. So the top one is going to stay the same. Become a positive 5x plus y, 4y equals 7. I'm putting a negative through this one, so everything changes signs. So the negative 2 becomes a positive 2. 19 becomes negative 19. And the x's go away. 4 plus 2 is 6. Negative 19 plus 7 is negative 12. Divide by 6, divide by 6, and y equals negative 2. If y equals negative 2, I can put negative 2 into this equation or into this one. I'll use the bottom one. 5x minus 2 times y equals 19. What's y? Negative 2. Negative 2 plus, times a negative 2 is a positive 4. Subtract the 4, 15, divide by 5, x is 3. This problem, because we already have y equals and y equals, if y equals 2x plus 1 and y equals x minus 4, then 2x plus 1 is going to equal 1x minus 4. They're going to equal themselves because y equals y. Um, subtract the 1x. That goes away. 2 minus 1 is 1, so 1x. Subtract the 1. So 1x, or just x, is negative 5. x is negative 5. Put negative 5 mm -hmm. in for that x, or that x. I'll do the bottom one. So y equals what's x? Negative 5 minus 4. So y equals negative 9. Oh, I like this one. Because it is already set up. See the 6's? 
One's positive, one's negative, so there's being canceled. Seven minus four is three. Negative 10 and negative 20 is negative 30. Divide by three, and x equals negative 10. If they were all that easy, right? Then, make sure you either put negative 10 in for this x or in for this x. Let's do the top. 7 times x plus 6y equals negative 10. What's x? Negative 10. So 7 times negative 10 is negative 70. Plus 6y equals negative 10. Plus the 70. 6y equals 60. Divide by 6. Divide by 6. And y equals positive 10. That's it. That's how you choose which way to use, either substitution or elimination.